after the leaving of um, the two original members of the Morbidus reality recording in 1993, the drummer and the bass player, so we have to find substitutes, you know, which um, that drummer was an excellent guy, um, Javier Villarreal, and uh, it was difficult to find another drummer that matched him back then, at least to get along with us, my brother and I, and uh, do the touring, because it was difficult to find people to to play with, you know, and the, the correct people, it's like uh, almost impossible, at least for me back then, I, I didn't have too much support, I, I knew a bunch of musicians, it was very difficult for me to find the right people, so finally um, 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 we found, thanks to Marco Gil, uh, the best player that was replacing Israel Bijar, uh, um, Israel Travinja, I'm sorry, um, that there was the one who recorded Morbius Reality originally. Um, we found um, Marco and Miguel, Miguel Quiroga, uh, we found them, uh, um, and it was uh, very lucky. Marco used to come to our rehearsals during the making of the Morbius Reality. He used to come quite often, and, uh, and Israel has to leave because of college and university and his scholarship and all that. Also Javier, they have to leave because of a school, in a few words, their personal careers. So even me also, I was doing my studies and everything, you know, uh, but uh, sometimes, you know, I was trying to dedicate more time to focusing on music and um anyways and then uh, also my brother was also came back to the band in you know in that very in those years 1992-93 and um so we started just working with all the music i was just making from previous years um uh, very interesting the way uh, he was adding the vocals and everything um but um Anyways, uh, we used to have fun, everybody. We we really have a lot of fun while we were doing um, all these uh, Morbidus reality um, concerts and little uh, recordings here and there and blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, it was a lack of support that um, we cannot find it, as I was saying, that because... I don't know, the metal scene was just changing or just alternative rock took over and uh, it was a completely new times, you know, and um, we were doing what we want to do, you know, it was nothing new, but at the same time it was um, our own thing, let's say, I think that's why, honestly, back then we found no support. You know, MTV projectors, like big time, you know, internationally and the record level, I understand, but it was too late when I think uh, we got desperate, we are waiting and waiting to see if we can have a real tour. We were contacted by many people from Argentina, from uh, Spain and uh, from Chile and South America in general, they want us to go there and play. But then in the end it was not possible because somehow or another involves uh, that also we need a professional man management and it was not possible with the people we were working with uh, because um, in a few words it was a, a very difficult times we have no money in a few words you know we we're just the musicians playing and doing doing uh, we we gave like a hundred twenty percent of ourselves into it. And it was ridiculous that we never, um, you know, got the support for real. Like, go and play to metal venues. Only go and play to, like, stupid venues, honestly. But whatever we have is what we can share with all of you people. Please uh, check our YouTube channel, you know. Um, this uh, talks of that, talks of that uh, radio show, let's say, you know talks of that stories is what we we are coming with right now and also uh, you will see whenever it's coming the new material is coming you know very slowly it's taking years for uh, timing reasons and many things you know anyways uh, thank you
during 1993 and 1994. Well, we used to party a lot, you know, a lot of beer, you know, girls, some weed sometimes, and we have very good times, yes. Uh, we used to party a lot, mainly during those years, particularly 1993-1994. And we toured a little bit, you know, it was some short tours, it was not really as real support from the real the record company BMG back then. Um, it was a basic support, but not like the real thing into the metal scene, it was mainly focusing on the rock in Espanol or Spanish rock or Spanish rock in Spanish or whatever. So it was diff we used to have difficulties for performing in the right venues. You know, they were mixing us with other uh, uh, Spanish rock bands or whatever. Uh, no metal bands necessarily. So it was a lot going on. And also, it was the new black metal scene coming, or uh, not coming, actually, was exactly in its peak. So, a lot of the underground um, went all the way to support only the black metal, the new black metal scene that was coming from Sweden and Norway or whatever the hell. So, we were also recording and um, we were also um composing and recording some demos um back then that we later call it the black metal guru project or whatever because it was just a demo and ideas and we really want to do it but it was not possible and it was all by chances it was not because it was happening in northern europe or whatever the hell we were just doing it on our own uh, but we were doing our like let's say modern metal for terms into metal music for back on the early 90s you know because it was happening this alternative rock scene at the same time so the metal scene was changing its sounding in a way or another everybody was adding a little bit more of um um more um i can say um sounds or um, performing in in different way as the, the traditional. It was just developing to a new form of metal music, and a bunch of elements they start adding um, in general. But overall, we have a bunch of fun. It was just um, kind of parting time. I used to have to keep the order in the band in a way or another because it was impossible sometimes to. Um, if we get too drunk or you know like to play and whatever so I used to try to keep the band in line and so many people used to criticize me because I was kind of a strict person whatever but still you know we we party or hard partying after performances or recordings or whatsoever but yes um, please um, check it out our YouTube channel is coming very soon. This uh, kind of uh, talks with it, radio talking about some of our stories. Uh, it will be in Spanish mostly, with uh, English subtitles, and it will be some in English as well. So thank you very much, Facebook uh, followers and people who like us here. Thank you for the support, and see you next time.